Okay. So today is gonna be a little bit different for what we're doing. Um, today, I wanted to talk about design. So something that we have been talking about for a long time in the cardboard mock-up, um, in a lot of different videos along the way, but what I noticed is that I never really talked to you guys about design. So what I want to do today is to just bring you along on the journey about what we've done um, and the things that we considered along the way. Um, so we'll start a new page here. And that is why we have the fancy setup with the front camera and the uh, precarious dangling camera from the ceiling. So yeah, so let's just jump into it. It's gonna be pretty casual, just talking about the boat sitting right there. Um, so what we started with. So if you go back to the first video, what we started with was basically just a shelf. It was just, you know, it had a transom, had a bow, this is all, this was it, right? It had a bench in the back, it had a table with a centerboard slot, and it had this giant big kind of container up there, and this is where the mass support was. So the mass goes up like that. You know, you're getting it. So, something we wanted to accomplish with this, or me personally, I keep saying we because everybody's along with me on the journey of this, Something I wanted to accomplish with this is to give it a bit more personality. So some of that might be aesthetics, some of that might be functionality. Um, in the first video I talked about the look that I was going for, the look of, um, of a standard kind of like 1920s sailing vessel. Um, and something I noticed about the boat that we had chosen to kind of be the model was that it had really good lines. It had a really big bow structure um, the bow structure basically was like a circle and then you drew a line. So it had a smaller transom and it swung up to the bow like that. It swung up to the bow like that. And so again, this is the front compartment. This is where that table was with the centerboard and that's where the stern was. And there's the mast. So you can pull lines down like that. Um, yeah, and so what I noticed was it already had kind of the smaller stern, which you see in a lot of kind of 1920s sailing crafts, but that usually extends past the back of the boat. Um, it already had this larger bow, but it, it rounded off. It was a circle, like typical sailboats would kind of continue this line forward, and then it would be kind of like a triangle in the front. Um, but this particular one had kind of this rounded front to it, which I thought was kind of interesting uh, for a couple of different reasons, but in terms of the aesthetics that we were looking for, it wasn't exactly what we were trying to achieve. Um, and so the first thing we decided was the additions that we wanted to put on with it. Um, and so the additions were a bow extension and a stern extension. So I don't know, I think it was episode two or three um, where we did the cardboard mock-ups. The first thing I did was kind of extend the bow forward and extend the stern backwards. Um, and so after we did that, then you have to make these connections. Um, and so you have to carry the line from the bow up like that, and you have to carry the stern like that. Um, and then the profile, and especially the perspective, starts to talk more like a sailboat. It starts to act a bit more like a, a traditional sailing craft instead of this, um, this kind of mystery boat that we've been slowly, slowly kind of putting back together. Um, and so this, this bow extension obviously has a lot of work that goes into it, and the stern extension obviously has even more work to go into it. Um, and so we extend the front, extend the back, so extend the front, extend the back. And we're carrying these lines through, which was critically, critically important to it. And then we added, you know, that. Um, yeah, because carrying the lines through is basically the whole point of doing it, because if it's just kind of like squared off the back, then it just kind of looks like a, a trunk that you like bolted onto the back of it. Because um, what we actually wanted to do is we wanted to sculpt through with the, uh, the, the original um, curves of the boat um, and then fiberglass it actually into the structure of the boat. So instead of having this thing that was just attached to it, we wanted this thing that was actually built into it. Um, 
And so then we were thinking about, okay, so what can those things actually be? So pulling this line forward allows, you know, we cut out these seats. Um, that was the first thing that we did. Um, pulling this line forward allows this to kind of act as its own thing, almost like its own cabin. And so, like in the previous videos, this is kind of gonna be tying back to all our previous videos. Uh, we put in a bulkhead here, you know, and that bulkhead had a hatch in it or had a cutout in it for a hatch. And so this now becomes completely bow storage. And actually, this bulkhead is located in front of the mast. And so the mast actually sticks up in front of the bulkhead. So if we draw the boat in perspective here. You'll have to excuse my uh, messy sketching. Um, there's the mast. So we put in a bulkhead here and had it extend down. This is the front. And so we were extending that bow, extending that stern. Yeah. Um, and so now we have this full like forward compartment, which we introduced a large hatch into the front of it. And so this hatch, now that full forward compartment, because there's not, not gonna be a lot of weight up there. Um, this is like where we're talking about battery, um, where we're talking about like uh, cushion storage, um, all the other kind of stuff. And then there was all a bunch of everything we discovered along the way, right? So there ended up being a hole in the boat, like around here. Um, and we're putting in a subfloor into it. And so we actually, and that was in a previous video, we introduced these floor supports on either side of the centerboard council or the centerboard slot. Um, and what that did is it strengthened this whole unit in here and it actually gave us a spot to bolt our floorboards to. So we're not bolting to the actual boat or bolting to the kind of like these trim pieces or something. We're actually bolting to structure, which is now fiberglass in the boat, which you have seen in past videos. Um, yeah, and so now that, you know, this bulkhead was introduced, we reintroduced this rear bulkhead, but we also left room. You know, there was a seat there to begin with, but we also left room for a little slot between the rear of the seat and the rear of the boat. And this is where we thought the battery was gonna go. And that's why we're learning. Every, every time we do something on this, we're learning. So um, we, we made the compartment for, um, for the battery in the rear of the boat because we thought it would just be nice to keep everything towards the back and we wouldn't have to run wires because we're gonna have a trolling motor back here. Um, so we wanted to keep everything towards the back of the boat so we didn't have to run wires all the way from the bow to the, um, to the stern. Um, but we realized because of weight and because like, you know, if you're, if you're sailing it single-handedly, which obviously you would because it's such a small boat, um, you're gonna be sitting in the back. Um, and what that means is that it's going to be very heavy. And so we're just like, let's move the battery to the front. So that's where this compartment kind of came into play. And then now this back here is all for storage. And we're talking about like, how do we want to articulate the benches? You know, do they want to open kind of like that? Or is it more something that you like tip up? But all of this is like design. It's very much, it's like, it's very much like modeling. It's very much like clay um, uh, as a, as a, uh, architectural designer, the way I do projects is very planned out, right? It's lots and lots of sketching. It's lots and lots of planning before you even do anything, um, before you even start drawing it in CAD or anything like that. It's tons and tons of sketching. And this project is very, very different where it's very, <laughs> it's challenging me to be very sculptural with what I'm trying to do, to be very kind of like fluid. Every time I come into the shop to work on it, it's very much like, okay, what are we going to, add to, what are we going to redo in the boat? Nothing, nothing is really <laughs> planned out with this project. It's very much kind of like going with the flow mentality, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, it's different for me. Um, and so it's been very challenging to kind of like, just let it go, but it's, it's been really good stuff. Um, yeah, so the stern extension, the original conception for the stern extension was, well, 
why don't we introduce some custom made, some custom made coolers. We can have a cutout for our tiller, our tiller arm, so our rudder is sticking down here someplace. And our tiller is sticking like that. Um, and then we'd have a little cutout for a trolling motor. So the trolling motor would almost act as a prop or a, uh, a mounted, like a always mounted prop. Um, so it would sit in front of the rudder. And so once you turned it on, then you would just steer with the rudder, but the, uh, the trolling motor would just be like a mounted, um, a mounted uh, prop into the boat, which could be raised and lowered, depending if you wanted to beach the thing or um, to pull it up on shore. Because um, this thing is supposed to be very, very kind of like an everything boat. It's supposed to be something that you can pull on shore, something you can, you can camp in, something you can um, go to a sandbar, you know, a lot, a lot of different stuff. And so it's kind of like you're, you're trying to do everything and so you accomplish nothing. Um, but I think it's, it's really getting there. Um, and there was a lot of, you know, previous designs about um, like cabin structure and about um, like these bulwark designs and about, um, yeah, like talking about our trolling motor and the entire like hatch design. There was also lots of designs in terms of, um, um, yeah, how, how the wave breakers are introduced. Um, you know, the trolling motor extension, the, the, st the stern extension, because all of this stuff was really just, um, adapting as we went. None of it was really, none of it, we knew what we wanted to accomplish. Like previously, um, the design of the boat had this kind of curved wave breaker on the front of it. And then we realized, you know, well, if the mast is sitting inside of the wave breaker, then whatever water drains down the mast will get inside of the boat. Um, but if it's outside of the wave breaker, then it's going to drain down onto the deck and then drain off. But yeah, we're looking at details, right? That's, that's what we do. We plan everything out ahead of time so we don't have to like scramble at, at the end. Um, so we're looking at how the gunnels are going to attach to the boat. Um, you know, I think you saw this previously, like how this construction is gonna go for the stern extension. Um, yeah, so there's just a lot of things that we're considering um, all the time <laughs> as we do this, um, which is a good thing um, because it makes us really think and be deliberate about how we want to accomplish it. Um, but as we do this stern extension, a lot of things come into play, like, well, you have structure in here, and then that pushes this cooler, you know, this little pocket or whatever we want to introduce, it pushes it in, and we have structure in here, and it pushes it in, and then suddenly your cooler gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and it's just like, well, maybe we don't have room for a cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's learning all the time. Um, it's adapting all the time, but it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and so the um, current conception of the project looks like, well, I'll just show you an image right here, which I have sketched previously. Um, it kind of has, you know, uh, a curved kind of bow support that sweeps down into the gunnel, a curved, and it has a hatch that sits in between, and then the mass sits inside of that whole thing. So all the water is outside of the inside. And then this design allows you to maybe fiberglass a cabin enclosure later on to seal this thing up, or even make a um, boom tent, which is could be done very easily. Um, so yeah, a lot of things we're considering, a lot of things that are changing. That's why I kind of pushed this design video off a long time because everything's changing every day. Um, and so it doesn't make a lot of sense to do 13 design um, decisions, but these were the, big, the really big ideas that I wanted to share with you. The bow, uh, bow extension, the stern extension, the floorboard supports, and kind of this new bow condition um, that we're looking at um, to do. So yeah, it's, um, it's been a it's been a process. Uh, I know my uh, video uploads haven't been um, uh, consistent, which is just it's the way it goes. I'm uh, in finishing up my master's work in grad school. 
um, so time is limited, but yeah, it's been, it's been an incredible creative outlet to do this, so appreciate you guys coming along on the journey. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I hope you're having fun, so yeah, we're gonna continue working on it, and we'll see, we'll see what else changes, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in, uh, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you wanna do. Um, so yeah, just come along for the next one. I'll see you guys.